Hi everybody, it's Michelle here with Angel Souls. This week's getting away from me, so I was like, you know what? Just put put the phone on, put it on. Let's see what's going on. How are you guys doing? How's your day? Uh, or, or your week, I should say, at this point. Oh my goodness. Let me know down in the comments how you've been. And I wanna take a little poll this week. What sort of things do you like to see on YouTube? Uh, or just on social media in general? Is it card readings? Uh, do you gravitate more towards educational things? If so, what is the topic? Uh, what can I do for you? <laughs> right? What do you want to hear about? All right, so I'm pulling out this deck here. This, oh, I don't have the, oh shoot. If you guys know what deck this is, post it down below. Uh, I think it's Christine Alexandra or Alexandria. Uh, I had the box right in front of me and now I don't know where it is. So I love this deck. It's a great deck. I highly recommend it. And let's see what's going on here. I know there's a lot of talk and we should address this. A lot of talk of um, earthquakes and uh, earthquake about to hit California. <laughs> Some of you are going to be like, Michelle, you've been saying that for years. I know. I know. I don't make the rules, okay? I just deliver the messages. So we have Shamuel here. This is Pamper. Uh, take time. Take the time to replenish your mind, body, and soul. So I'm going to hold this up. Oh, you can see. Hey, there's something to doing this on a phone. Look, I could put it. Hi. So let's talk about Archangel Shamuel for a moment. This is really important. So if you're not familiar with angels and archangels, Archangel Shamuel helps us find self-love, which usually makes people roll their eyes. But when we have self-love, we have self-confidence, right? We have more capacity to love each other. And we can reach our highest potential. This is also making me feel like we're getting overworked. Uh, and I can definitely relate to that. I'm <laughs> feeling the pinch. It's already Tuesday by the time I'm filming this. And I looked up and I'm like, where did the time go? Right? So this is about self-care. And through that self-care and decompressing and allowing yourself to experience a little bit of joy, you might have a breakthrough. You might have some clarity. Uh, some things that have been sort of lying dormant under the surface could start to come up. Okay? And here's that cue. So it says, past life connection. Listen and observe the signals that come to you. They may have roots in a past life. Now, if you have ever gotten a personal reading with me, and if you don't know, I do angelic messaging readings. I also do Akashic Records readings. Those you can book at angelsouls444.com. I am planning on getting caught up again on those this week. So now's the time. I always let you know, like, hey, you notice when I go quiet, that's because I've got people in line. Yes, people are still waiting on their readings, but this week, hopefully, that should be all caught up. Get in line now. That way, you're right there as I keep going, and you can get your reading maybe a little bit faster. Not a guarantee. just depends on when you see this, when you get in line, all that good stuff. And I should say, while we're at it, live readings over Zoom. If you want to do that or you want to get one of the teaching sessions where I teach you how to connect with angels, teach you how to work with a specific archangel, you can email me at angelsouls444 at gmail.com. Like I did, I think it was a couple of weeks ago, I was booked up, but I opened some more slots. I'm booked up this week. So we can look at next week, or if you need to, just contact me. We'll see if I can't get you in, squeeze in a few more readings. So this past life connection, guys, I'm telling you, something is breaking open. Now, even when we say past life, to me, that's a kosher record. Uh, I can talk, I swear, Akashic Records reading. So this is um, more of like a parallel life existing at the same time as this timeline. This is where we get maybe energy overlays. So what I mean by that is if you get to a certain point in your life and it just seems like you're struggling with the same old things, you're, you know, it just seems like this is just a part of who you are now and nothing's ever going to get better there's never going to be a breakthrough. There could be, like I said, an energy overlay from another timeline. This is thought to be 
uh, maybe karmic patterns that have not been released. This could be ancestral patterns, but it could be just something that your soul is choosing to express through many different characters in many different storylines, and you're working on it in this timeline as well. Now, sometimes it's being handled more in another timeline, so you don't have to suffer so much in this one. So again, I do that service if you care to explore that further. This is interesting. So this is Archangel Thuriel. Now, I don't work with Thuriel too much, but I understand this Archangel is associated with animals. The card is animals. And it says, let's strengthen... I can't read these very well. Let's strengthen your connection to the animal kingdom together. See why I don't put these on camera too often? There you go. And I do want to share a little story. Animals are factoring in quite a bit here. So one, they can help us with warning signs especially if there are gonna be earthquakes in Hawaii, volcanoes are getting ready to erupt, I understand. Watch the animals. They will give you the signals. They'll let you know when it's time to run. But animals are also very, very relaxing. I don't have any pets myself, but there are two cats from the neighbor next door. One of them in particular, um, she acts like she lives here. And I love it. I, I like look outside, usually she's curled up on my porch. As soon as uh, she sees me, she comes running. I love that cat so much. So allow yourself to enjoy that connection. Maybe it's watching birds, you know, whatever it is, whatever it is for you. All right. Then we have Archangel Raziel, spiritual souls. You are a teacher and role model for all spiritual souls, especially children. We need to go in deeper into this, but this is definitely a time where people are stepping up and stepping away from spirituality as a trendy, God, I'm trying to, I'm trying to contain myself so I don't go down a rabbit hole and start ranting about that. But you know, the trendy thing where it's not connected in anything, they're not really committed to it. We want to step away from that and get back to understanding why you incarnated. Now, what a lot of people who we call them light workers or earth angels you know it encompasses a lot of different types of souls but a lot of what's happening right now is various types of energy sacrifice this is a very real thing so if you are somebody who just you know this isn't trying to appeal to people who love making themselves be victims for the attention it brings them that's not what we're talking about we're talking about people who really cannot catch a break more often than not you are either an earth angel or you're on angelic mission, if you want to say like angelic mission, or you have some sort of duty that you are to fulfill. And so that at every turn by forces, forces that don't want you to accomplish things, you're going to get hit left, right, and center. Okay. It gets a little more serious than how I'm presenting it here because I'm not trying to make it so heavy. But I will say some of you who have, let's say, had an attack on the sacral chakra, and you know what the sacral chakra covers, and it's usually in childhood. Not always, but it's usually in childhood. That, there's a reason why you get targeted. Now, this is just speaking in a spiritual sense. There's a reason why that occurred with you, or maybe it was neglect. There's something, there was like this rejection of who you are. And maybe now, if you are drained and you're trying to recharge yourself and you accomplish that and you walk into a room and people just seem to not like you, right? And you've genuinely done nothing to them. But something's trying to get thrown in your way constantly that is trying to diminish your light. So that's what I'm talking about, about energy sacrifice. Along with that, there is now obviously a collective energy that is expanding and it is a bit of a push-pull here. It's a bit of a, some of you are going to want to give up. Maybe your spiritual practice, maybe thinking, you know, what was it all for? I, I'm going to go ahead and eat the ice cream because I'm tired of dieting, right? Like it's that kind of feeling. If you've, you know, not allowed yourself to have certain things because you didn't think it was spiritual, I see a lot of people, in, in a matter of speaking, sort of falling off the wagon. 
So be careful with that, especially if you've had certain uh, habits and things that you have tried to overcome. All right. So I pulled another card here. We have eight of Ariel. Take great pride in your excellent work. Practice makes perfect. Consider getting additional education or training. This feels like, <laughs> how shall I say? It's gonna be different for everybody. Obviously this is just a general reading, but this feels like something that you're learning is gonna pay off. That's for some of you, whether you're in university, uh, you just took a class, maybe you're just getting some other type of training, whatever it is, it is going to pay off. In another sense, this could be a lot of you waking up and learning something about yourself and having to do with that spiritual side. They're giving me another example here. Some of you, hmm, a lot, well, a lot of people who have become clients of mine and they've been clients of mine for years and years, we do in a way develop a friendship. Like this isn't like a therapist and client situation, right? Like we do spiritual readings here. There are connections. And I know a lot of you have been going through some hard times, whether it is looming health issues or breakups, or for some of you, you're waking up to how much abuse you've been through and just how you've been taken advantage of. And when you thought you were safe to set a boundary and you tried to do that, the abuse continued. That's another example of energy sacrifice. That is why, you know, for the longest time I was talking about narcissism and my channel started tanking when I started talking about narcissism. If that doesn't show you how many of them are out there, I mean, that's not very scientific proof, I suppose, but you know, <laughs> I just thought it was a weird correlation. I start talking about that pretty, pretty frequently. And then all of a sudden I'm taking all these hits, but you know, there, there is something there about targeting people that they see as weak. And usually they are people who carry light. And we know with those types of people, they have a darkness working through them and they think they are entitled to someone's light. When I say there is instant karma, Karma's coming with a quickness, okay? It's <laughs> it's coming with a quickness. And I, I just posted a few days ago, again, if you don't know, on the community tab on my YouTube channel, I try to keep people updated on, okay, now's the time to get in for a reading. Here's where I'm at with live sessions. And I posted, please be respectful of the time you take in a live reading. Now, some of you probably had some judgment around that. But this is just another example of energy sacrifice. Do you know how often people will book a half hour and then they just keep going and going and going? You say, okay, we're out of time. They go, one more thing, just one more thing. Next thing you know, they've taken up an extra half hour with no offer to pay, no respect for your time. Now, I used to get upset by this and I'm telling you this for good reason. It's just a pertinent example. I used to get really upset and then I start going, you're just building your own karma. Now what's gonna end up happening is something will happen to those people to teach them not to do that. Uh, some people, it was a little bit harder for them to learn the lesson and I just had to set that boundary. And I would encourage all of you to do this as well. I set that boundary and I stopped responding to their requests. And of course they acted like victims, right? And it's a complicated thing because these people will go on a rampage, they will, you know, start smearing your name and doing all that because you wouldn't let them control you. That is energy sacrifice. But the thing is, is that now the consequences are going to be a little more known. We're going to be seeing this more and more. So just want to put that out there. Be safe out there, especially with all the weather and all the things that are going on. Yes, there could be earthquake, more earthquake activity. Of course, California, you're always in the danger zone for that. Uh, Japan, you would always be in the danger zone for that. But I think there could be earthquakes going on too in like unexpected places like the Netherlands, okay? Like I, there's something coming up around that region. And uh, Germany, I would watch it. There's some energies being unearthed and they're not great. <laughs> I shouldn't have brought this up towards the end of the video, but 
they're not great. Like something's getting, uh, it's not history. It's not that. It's not that kind of stuff being dug up. It's something very spiritual and very energetic. So we will have to see how that plays out. Now leave your comments down below. Again, if you want to get a reading, I mean, you do whatever you want. But if you want to get a reading, angelsouls444.com. If you want to try to squeeze in, of course, I do also teach angel mediumship, but those are at a different price point. If you've already booked, you bought the whole packet of angel mediumship courses, you should have used those up by March, okay, of this year. So it's technically already expired, but, you know, get in there. Don't just, you know, let too much time go in between those courses. Cool. I think I've said everything I need to say for this week. Try to just be happy as much as you can, guys. Please be careful with your self-care. Uh, and remember this theme of energy sacrifice. If people are taking more than they are entitled to, if it's the kind of thing where people are making everything way harder for you than it needs to be or intentionally sticking roadblocks in your way. Um, another example of energy would be, uh, energy sacrifice would be somebody um, doing something very, we would call it petty, like they don't want to help you. So they make sure that they have something else going on that day so that they don't have to help you, um, or plain dumb, like, oh, I had no idea you needed da 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 da. <laughs> like God sees everything. There will be a price to pay. And what I actually see coming up in the coming years would be people having a giant wake up call because they're seeing such instant karma. And unfortunately, especially for people with darkness working through them in like a big way, the only thing that gets them to turn around would be consequences. And even then, sometimes they're not even bothered by that. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to record a few dailies for next week's video. I'll have my equipment back out. It's just been, I'm not even sure what I've been doing, honestly. I mean, working hard. I'm working hard over here, but like dang anyway i hope you guys are okay if you're going through a rough time just know that i'm here this community is here we all love you so take care of yourselves bye, -bye.